TV racing presenter Ed Chamberlain is in the house. Welcome to our show, Ed. Good evening, everybody. Thanks for having me. No worries. So, Ed, we normally we've had so many ITV presenters on now, and we start off by saying, "How did you get involved? How did it all start for you, Ed?" We well, started in TV by accident. I. You know, I started out as a bookmaker and then I became a journalist and I used to go on Bloomberg television to promote the show. I, uh, sorry, promote the magazine I was editing, a betting magazine called Sports Advisor. And I think a Sky executive in a hotel in somewhere or other around the world saw me and thought I had something about me. So got me in for a screen test at Sky, which I wasn't particularly interested in because I thought I was a great journalist, which obviously I wasn't. But the TV career started from there. I got into football. I started doing Jeff Stelling's show midweek and then my world changed in 2010 with the, the sacking of Andy Gray and the resignation of Richard Keyes because from there I got the big job at Sky doing Super Sunday and Monday Night Football uh, which went very well with Gary Neville and Jamie Carragher and then wow. the, call, the call from ITV came in January of 2016 and I jumped to the chance and I get asked on the high street every day why did I leave Premier League football for racing and listen it was the best decision I've ever made I'm absolutely loving it. Yeah, and so we're all glad you've made that decision as well, watching this show. Uh, it's fantastic having you on. Um, what a big weekend we've got of racing this weekend, Ed. Um, I, I believe you're at Ascot tomorrow. And then we've got the big one in France on Sunday. What do you make of that race? Yeah, it's a really good arc. I'm, yeah, I'm in Ascot now, actually. We stay in Bracknell with the team, and then we've got good racing tomorrow on the show at Ascot and Redcar and Newmarket. And then I'm actually doing the arc we can't go because of protocols and, and the deal is done quite late if i'm honest we did this time last week i wasn't sure we'd be showing the arc so i'm delighted we are and we've got a really really good arc on sunday it's it's it's, it's got everything an arc should have it's yeah. got classic winners it's got older horses it's got fillies and mares the one thing it hasn't got i suppose is a strong home defense i think the french are pretty weak this year right. um but, it, but it's a compelling arc the shame is you know all the rain they've got there it's raining there at the moment as well it's going to rain tomorrow and Sunday, so we're looking at a heavy ground arc, which is a bit of a leveller and a little bit of a shame. Yeah, have you have you got one that you you're favouring yourself, or are you keeping that under wraps? <laughs> I, I, no, I would never keep it under wraps. I'm just not sure anyone's interested. I wouldn't say I was a great judge, but I do think Snowfall will run a big race. I fancied her even without the rain. The rain is a bonus for her. I just yeah. I've just put a line through her run in the Verme. She was too short for the arc before then, and and since her slightly flat performance in the Verme, her price is now a realistic one. And any Aidan O'Brien horse in a prep race, I put a line through it anyway. He never primes them for a prep race. And she was flat that day, but so many of his horses were. And vengeance and getting getting way to, you know, a three-year-old filly is, I think, where you need to look in the arc. And fillies have got a great record overall of late. And I think, I think it's going to be hard. I mean, there's good horses in there. Derby winners, St. Ledger winners. Absolutely. And Tanawa's going to take a lot of beating. But I'm going to side with Snowfall. Oh, wow. Yeah, I'm, I'm siding with Hurricane Lane. I think he's getting better and better. And uh, it's, yeah, fa yeah. it's a fascinating um, arc. And uh, we've had Bob Champion on tonight. He, he's he gone for the favourite. He thinks that's a, that's a pretty good thing. Um, <laughs> that's pretty boring of Bob. Come on, Bob. <laughs> yeah, come on, Bob. It's not good enough. Um, so presenting then, <laughs> um, I say we've had a lot of the team on. Rashi was on a few weeks ago. We had Holly uh, yeah. um, Richard Hoyles on. Um, who Who's your favourite person you work with? I'm going to put you on the spot now. We're going to have a bit of fun. Uh, on ITV, or the yeah. person I've learned most from in television was Gary Neville in my time with him at Sky. Gary's an extraordinary character. He sort of gets up at four o'clock in the morning. He could probably be Prime Minister as well as a football pundit. And I learned a lot from him. Right. And I've got, on ITV, I've got a great team. I mean, we're like a slightly dysfunctional family at times, but I've, I've tried to really create a team ethic amongst us. And listen, you've had Hoyles on, and Richard is my absolute right-hand man, you know, because I'm not a racing person, really. You know, I have 20 right. years working in football, and, I'm, you know, I'm just the presenter. I don't want to be an expert, but I do rely on Richard Hoyles an awful lot for a bit of knowledge, and we'll have breakfast together like we do every Saturday morning, and he'll pass on his wisdom to me. So I'm, I'm very reliant on, on him, but Chappers, Ollie, Francesca, Haley, Jason Weaver, Luke, Mick, they're a great gang, yeah. great gang. I, I, I pretty much get on really well with all of them. Oh, that's fantastic. Um, let's go to football then. Who, who's your favourite team? Southampton. You're a Southampton man. Well, my, yes. I, I've got a very good friend here. He did play for Southampton at one time, then he went to Tottenham and Liverpool. 
uh, Razor Ruddock. Okay. <laughs> he's a bit of a le well, he's a legend wherever he's gone. He was definitely a legend in his time with us. Yeah, he's, he's still a legend now, mate. He's a cracking lad. He lives about 200 yards down the road, and he's helped me out over to the charity work for many, many years, and we've done a lot of charity football matches together. Well, Ed, well, Brilliant. thank you for popping out and uh, giving us your time tonight, mate. It's an absolute privilege having you on, and uh, hopefully we can get one of the girls on. We we could do with Francesca or, or Holly. That'd be lovely. And um, I'll, ha I'll have a word. You I'll have, have a word. A... Thanks for having me on. I hope everyone, I hope everyone has a great weekend and enjoys the racing. Yeah, and uh, you stay safe, mate, and you carry on doing a fantastic job. We enjoy tuning in on a Saturday afternoon. Cheers, and um, Ed, thanks for joining us, pal. Bye-bye now. You're very kind. Thanks a lot. Take care. Cheers. Bye -bye.